Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pack. So in this video, we're going to be talking about ZFisher. It's just another automated phishing tool you can utilize in Kali Linux or Parrot OS or whatever. You can get it from GitHub. We're going to be installing that today. But before we do so, please like, subscribe, and share if it's helpful and you like the video, obviously. And if you're returning, welcome back. So as we can see on my screen, I'm already at the repository. I want to go ahead and do some preliminary stuff. And I want to show you what I did prior to starting this video, like did some updates and upgrades just to make sure all the repositories are up to date. All right. So as you can see on the about right here, you can see, you know, it's an automated phishing tool with over 50, uh, 30 plus templates. It's obviously made for educational purposes. This is just to teach you how phishing works and how to create those links. Obviously, do not misuse this and do some craziness, but you can you know, do it on yourself and practice in your own environment. And this is always what I condole, like everything I'm doing is in my own environment, right? So before anything, these are two commands I would run. I just put them here so they're easy. I already did it. You can do a sudo app update. So you can update all your repositories to make sure everything is up to date. And then you can do a full upgrade. And I did. So what we can do is I can cat my OS release and I can see that I'm up to 2022.4, which I'm good to go. All right. And if I do a little LS right now, I have a few, a few tools that I've installed under my tools directory in my Kali Linux. So what I want to do is I want to make another directory called ZFisher. So MKDIR. I'm going to do ZFisher. And then I want to CD into there. Okay. And now obviously if I can do an LS, there's nothing in there. So what I want to do now, let's go back to the repository and we can read through this a little bit. You know, obviously disclaimer, it's a beginner friendly automated phishing tool with over 30 plus templates. So obviously this is just to learn, right? To understand how phishing, how people create these phishing links and when they, you know, try to harvest credentials. And this is, you know, you can protect yourself by looking at some crazy link and say, this doesn't look right. And if it's coming from Microsoft or Facebook or anything like that, which we'll see the real one versus a phishing uh, link. And you can see some of the differences, but we'll get to that in a little while. All right. So we can, you know, you can read this disclaimer and then the features, some of the features, you know, the latest updates, of logon pages, beginners friendly, and then you have local hosts and, you know, a whole bunch of different ones. So let's go ahead and just get the clone. I want to go ahead and copy this and let's go back here and just paste that in here. Whoops, why did it paste like that? I don't know why I did that. All right, that's not a problem. We can just type it, get clone. And then I want to go ahead and go all the way to the end, take this out and I want to clone that locally to my machine. And once that's locally cloned, then we can do an LS and we should see that here. Once you have that, once you have that, we can CD to it, right? And once we CD to it, we can do an LS and see what files reside in this directory. So we can see Docker file and you can actually say, for example, you want to read path to readme.md. Um, Obviously this is pretty much, let me go all the way up. This is pretty much what was on GitHub you know, the features, all, you know, everything that you need to know. All right, so let's just go ahead and, whoops. So let's go ahead and do an LS again. So now what we're gonna do is run this Z Fisher. So what we're gonna do is use bash because it's a bash, because it's obviously we can see that, dot sh. But before that, if you wanna see the script, because sometimes people wanna look at scripts and all that stuff, so what we can do is cat, Let's cat the zfisher doc. And then this is going to show you everything that this script is doing. And let's go all the way up. Doom, 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 doom. All right. So if we come all the way up here, I guess we can't even go all the way up. But you can open this up in Gedit or, you know, something else, uh, Sublime Text or whatever. But what you can do is check it out. But let's go ahead and just run it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and run it 
So we can see the package is already installed because I did update my repository, you know, updated a pip, make sure everything uh, is all up to date. In this case, it's bash, it's not uh, Python. So we can see the status, the internet status is online. So my machine is on the internet. So it's checking for updates. It is up to date, which I just did that prior to recording. And now it's installing the rest of the applications that are needed that I didn't have installed. I think I mentioned this on one of the other videos. I actually accidentally deleted <laughs> my, my, my virtual machine that I had all my tools set up and configured, but it's all good. It, it, best practice is start all over, right? They always say reformat once a year. So I guess I had a reformat and I had that machine probably for like probably a year or something like that. Always doing the upgrades or whatever. All right, cool deal. So now we have Z Fisher here. This is a tool and it's, it was created by HTR Tech. Thank you so much. Shout out to you for this cool tool. All right, so we can select a attack for the victim. So what do we want to do? We have 33 here. We can just pick one. For an example, we'll pick LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is 14, right? We can select 14 and hit enter, right? So we have different options here. We have 01 for local host, 02, 03, 04. So what we can do here, we can, for an example, we can try, uh, let's try 03, uh, Cloudflare, okay? Let's just give that a jingle. Do you want a custom port? No thanks. I don't need a custom port because I'm just testing this. This is not anything crazy. <laughs> so give, we'll give this a moment. So it's probably going to be running on port. Uh, do you want to mask? Yes. Yes, I want to mask it. All right. So I want to put uh, infosec at testing.com. Okay. I'm just going to put that. So what we can do, we can use this. This URL right here, I can, whoops, let me copy this URL and see if this works, All right? So we can copy this. We can open up a new browser, paste it, enter, and that's fine. Okay. So now we have this LinkedIn page. We masked it and, you know, so say for example, we want to test with, uh, Pat is the man at pat.com. Okay, that's my email and my password is thank you for watching. Okay, don't save. All right, so if you send that off to someone and this is how these things are created, they're gonna say, oh, it didn't, didn't do much of anything. Let me go ahead and give it a jingle again. So it did reroute them, it redirected them to the real LinkedIn. So now if we come back here, we can see, let's do control C, let's do, do an LS, and we can go ahead and let's see if we can do, 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 do. Let's see something here. All right, so username. So let's cat username. So I ne actually never used this tool. This is the first time I'm using it. So. Here we go. So we can see the LinkedIn IP, I mean, the LinkedIn username, which is Pat is the man. And then my password is thank you for watching. If I spelled that correctly, yes, I did. All right, so that's pretty much how you use this tool. And it's very simple, right? And so we can do one more. We can, let's actually uh, see the dot dot. And what I wanna do, <laughs> I didn't realize, but it's fine. I'm, I'm not worried about anything. All right, so let's go ahead and just do bash again. And we'll make sure, that, see how fast that was now because everything is installed. So you can, for an example, you can try Instagram, zero two. And we'll do something else. For an example, traditional login, thousand followers. Say, so, oh man, I wanna get a thousand followers, I don't know. So we can do zero three and we can try zero two. We can just do a different option now. Uh, no, uh, no. I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to change my region. So we'll just give this a second. We'll give this a moment. And then do you want a mask? No, it's, it's fine. Okay. 
So now we can just say, okay, thousand followers. This looks pretty cool. We can copy this. And then we can go back to our browser. Paste. And then that's fine. Yeah, confirm. So now this is going to show us, I don't know, something about a thousand followers. I guess that didn't, I guess that didn't work. But obviously with these tools, sometimes it is hit or miss. So we can just go back and just give something else a try. Okay. And so on and so forth. So you guys get the idea. You guys just can run it and just play around with it, right? And just test it in your own environment and you should be good. And that's, that's pretty much about it for this video. Hopefully it's been informative for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments or anywhere you can find me and I'll be sure to help out as best as I can. But please, I get a lot of these, <laughs> these emails and messages. I'm having an error. Please try to research it before sending the error because I solve a lot of these problems. Like people say, oh, um, it's not working, but then you're not running it as root or you forgot sudo in front of it. Just make sure either you follow step by step what I'm doing, or you know if you're getting some kind of error, please Google it before because that's what I want to tell you to do. Have you try to research it? Because I don't know all the answers either, but I know how to find them, right? As long as you know how to research them, that's the main key. So please do that. <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to be mean. I just think it's it's in, it's for your best interest too to learn how to research because if you want to be a pen tester or in this field, in any field in IT, it, you know, like when I was a network engineer, system engineer, cloud, blah, blah, blah. If we get an error, first thing we do is Google. Now we just do <laughs> different chat, GPT and all this good stuff. But you get the point. I'm just, I'm just messing around with that. But Google it and see if you can try to find the answer prior to hitting me up. And if you're absolutely stuck and there's like nothing that's, you know, you're stuck against a brick wall, yeah, hit me up and I'll be sure to help you out. All right, until next time, have a good one. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day. Take care.